Today in Zuma, we're gonna be checking out some of the best characters for teams over here And what better way to do that is with a team here from the discord server And I also added everyone here So if you want to join these just join the discord server. It's that easy We got cream master Omar the savage str and Bartek joining us over here So let's go for our first character here and while we're at it We're also gonna go for the best item combo as well that we can do for the teams and that first character is going Going to be Jack. Now, the best of the best, you're gonna find out at the end of the video, so stay tuned. But for now, it's gonna be Jack here, and his items are very solid, but we should change up something here with the defibrillator, and it's gonna be Wake Up Coffee. This is very solid, and the infrared binoculars makes things even better. So, fellas, let's get into our first game. And here we are. Now, Jack is overall a very strong character, so he can't really go wrong as a whole, but the reason why he is good in teams, at least in my opinion, is that he can give a lot of speed to your allies by doing this for example You know whilst Jade is trying to get that weapon we can do this and just make her faster Which is very useful and it helps out the entire team. It is amazing And now here's the deal guys comment down below which character is the best right you choose the best character here because do I know exactly who is the best of the best? Not exactly, but still, you guys choose that in the comments, alright? You got control over this, and I'm trusting you that you choose a character that's actually really, really good as well. So let's go and see how this is, and uh, one fun fact about the Ruby here is that Ruby has 25 trophies. And I'm serious about this. SRT here, or STR, I don't even know, has like 25 trophies for Ruby and level 13 and a primal instinct, which is super peculiar. I forgot to show you guys that, but that is so weird. <laughs> and uh, you know what? It's fine. I really don't mind. All right, let's give everyone some speed so we can have the element of surprise and no one shall escape our grasp. Hey, who's that? Oh, that's a pretty strong Larry, but my guy, you're gonna get absolutely decimated. That could have been quite a threat actually, but we're fine. All right, let's go and see how this goes here. If an ally gets eliminated, don't worry. We got the defibrillator as well because it's the defibrillator is just a must play. You're a bad person if you don't play team items in a team game mode, especially with people, you know, that you know. Because if it's a game and you have people that, that you don't know, right, if you're playing with randoms, then fair enough. Do your thing. But if you're playing with people like from a Discord server, for example, come on, come on. We got to show some respect here and use the right items. All right, guys, that's just how it goes. And I'm so glad you don't have the primal instinct to deflect our, our attacks because that is so annoying. All right, there you go. And now that's the last one, I'm pretty sure. And that's a victory, like right there. That was surprisingly quick, and we also got a ton of kills as well. Jack is, uh, you know, a character that really chases foes around, you know. He deals a lot of damage, and is uh, kind of a tank, and uh, he can make him really, really fast as well. But that's on you as the player, alright? You decide if, he, if you want him to be really, really fast. So that's our first contender here. Let's go for our second contender, which is going to be Yara. Now, the last one is my personal favorite, but uh, we're going to see exactly who's the best here. And you guys are going to choose which one is the best. So let's change up the atoms a little bit to something that would actually work. So we're keeping inflatable muscles because it's great. But let's get Wake Up Coffee out of here. And this should be very good, actually. So let's take Scarlet Yara. And whoa, look at that cool skin as well for Kaylee. That's awesome. Look, 97 Trophy Ruby. That's so cool. Let's go! I'm pretty sure it's more or less obvious as to why Yara is a very good team character. Well, she gives all the effects that you're ever gonna want. You could have damage around you to damage multiple foes at a singular time. And when you combine that with Duke's active ability, for example, you can stun the enemy and deal loads of damage to everyone on the enemy team. Whilst they're stunned. It's crazy. It's super useful. And you'll, of course, you also have the speed effect, and with some sort of passive ability of some sort, you can have the song that uh, does all the things at once, like this, for example. Look at that, we're healing, giving speed, damage, whatever you're ever gonna need, Yara has it. Yara is very solid. It's solos, let alone in teams. All right, let's get the guard kill, because uh, we may or may not need those medkits eventually. And the muscles as well, it gets charged from guard kills, which is elite. So uh, we're gonna use that to our advantage here, to just get bigger and stronger, because we're level 18, we gotta deal some damage as well. Although Yara isn't really a DPS character, I would, I have to admit. Still, we gotta get stronger and better. Like this, we're pretty huge, but not as huge as that. Kaylee, though, he may or may not be using the muscles. I don't know. All right, Omar the Savage. I feel like I've seen Omar the Savage before. He's uh, he's been in other challenges right here. Well, challenges? He's been in other squads before, right? 
which is pretty cool. So let's go and see how this goes. Like, if a person can get into the squads multiple times in a row, which has happened before, we have people like Jocko, people like Juice, BR on the Discord server. Like, if there are fellas here that can get into squads multiple times in a row, then you already know that the chances... Like, if you would join the Discord server right now, of you getting into, into the squads would be not that bad, honestly. <laughs> it wouldn't be that troubling to do that. All right, let's see. How this goes here. Let's try to bring some speed to our allies here. That should be great. But we got to stand really close to them for that to happen. So there you go. That's uh, that's just thanks to our speed effect, honestly. So you really can't go wrong. And what is going on here? Oh, look at that. That's uh, STR, I hope. There you go. They're really doing the job here. Let's heal them up as well, just because we can. There you go. Splendid. And look at the, the beautiful song here. Yes, sir. All right, medkit. And now you better give off something good, my friend. Like a good weapon. Okay, maybe not. I mean, that's gonna be useful for someone else, but not for us. So let's go. And it's a squad game, but you know, everyone matters, everyone counts. Now, guys, just get closer so we get the full song. But right now, with full HP and everything, we should be fine, more or less. So that's the victory right there. It's as simple as that. And how many kills do we have? We have five. Not bad, not bad, not bad. But a player like Duke, for example, is obviously gonna get the most kills, you know, because he's gonna deal the most damage. And what level is he? Level 17! Oh, snap! <laughs> That's what I call insane. So fellas, let's go on to the next character And this one is someone which, which we haven't really played in squads before But I feel like he's gonna be really really good So that's why he's gonna be quite a contender here And I'm pretty sure it's a she instead of a he but you know, it's, it's pepper All right, pepper pepper corn magical paws. Let's go for magical paws here because this looks hilarious So let's go and change up the items again to something that works here So we're gonna go for helium canister actually no 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 because Duke is trying to stun all the enemies and if you uh, get them all in different places and everything not close to each other that's not gonna do us very well is it so there you go let's get rid of uh, doctor's code right here because it's not a must-have honestly and this should be very solid and also the other people here are rocking different items I mean characters as well so let's go here we are and let me grab that weapon real quick there you have it and now here's the deal about pepper because at first you might not realize what the deal is but if you do something like this you can see everyone around you and have a better view range than everyone else. You don't need more peppers in the game. You only need one, and that's what we're doing right now, okay? You can do this, and you can use the weapon as well to have an even better sight. And if you have the Primal Instinct, which lets you move around as well, what you can do is you can find enemy teams around you like this, and also alert players to get to the enemy team and destroy it. It's as simple as that. You're acting as a watchtower here for your allies, which would be so, so valuable, you know? And you can also see if uh, one of your allies is troubled or something. Like, if someone's fighting multiple characters at once, you can come in with a, with a big old bomb, actually. Or the triple bomb, but I don't think that's possible here in the team's game mode, unfortunately. Because uh, that, that may be banned here. Or Molotov bomb. One of the two, one of the two. Or maybe both. I'm not exactly sure. Because I don't typically use those at all, because they're not the best items in the game. But they're solid, of course. Now, let's see... How this goes, yeah, you can, you can literally see, like, what everyone's doing in a pretty good circle. Like, uh, if I were to guess, it would be pretty much where Pepper is, un up until where the Jade is right here. So, uh, it's quite a nice spot. You can see a lot here with this character, and it's super, super useful to have. You know, a character that's gonna be good in squads is- Are you serious right now? A character that's gonna be good in squads, right? It's gonna be a character that can benefit other characters, of course. That's, that's the obvious, alright? We just stated the obvious. But... Here's the deal. If you could just help out your your friends like this in multiple ways, that's so cool. And imagine everyone using a character that's actually really viable in teams that brings something awesome to the table, alright? Because Bruce doesn't bring anything crazy to the table in a team's game mode. If I were to make the perfect squad in the big teams, it would most likely be Yara, Pepper, Jack, Duke, and one more, but I'm not exactly sure. You guys comment down below who you think that should be, but it might be Phil, but most players don't have a high level on Phil. Let's be honest with ourselves here, because <laughs> he's kind of a recently released character. Larry, come back. Let's go, Larry. Larry, don't die. Larry, move. All right, we're good. We're good. There you have it. Larry is not dying anytime soon, because he does have the level 13, though. He's pretty strong, actually. I would be kind of alerted fighting a level 13 Larry, believe me. You know, he's not that weak. So let's see how this goes here. And a wrench. Oh, yes. It's a level 7 Nyx. What a classic. And now everyone can see the Nyx as well, which is such a bonus. Look at them. They know where the barrel is. And they're all grouping up right next to the barrel. That is beautiful right here. And Nyx, you're not escaping. Nyx, where are you going? I'm so confused. There you go. 
That's what I'm talking about over here. What do we get? Three kills? Well, Pepper isn't necessarily designed to get all that many kills. I would have also included Duke on this list as well of characters. And you guys choose which one is the best. I would have maybe included Duke as well. But the thing about Duke is the one issue with him is that you see... We have done a video on him yesterday, and there's always there's also someone here in the squad actually playing him, so we're pretty much fine. So what were the characters that we played today? We played Duke, we played, uh, not Duke, what, what am I even saying here? We got Yara, Jack, and Pepper over here, very solid for teams, and we also checked out some really, really good item combos with them as well. So fellas, if you want to see more than this, just uh, comment down below and tell me what kind of other team video you'd like to see, and I will catch you! And the next one, Zoosters. So peace out and have a wonderful day. And bye-bye.